President Magathuli may be associated with working hard and cutting costs, but his government's first budget is all about spending. Expenditure is increasing by more than 30%, with the focus on industrialization. Money is being set aside to revitalize the country's aged railway and airline, in the hope that it will bring jobs and even higher growth. You know, everyone is saying that A, he's Mr. Austerity, that's how he likes to portray himself. But also, people have, all along have been saying this budget is it's a, a large, it's a large budget. So he seems to be uh, talking one way and doing another way. But on the other hand, um, the, it's all about being responsible about things. If, if uh, you bring in a, a, a lot of funds, well then it's okay to spend it. If, uh, if it's in a sustainable manner, then why not? And President Magafuli is able to do this in part because he has cut civil servant salaries and is collecting more tax. And the government is also about to borrow millions more dollars to fund its plans, at a time when the national debt exceeds the country's entire budget. We gathered two business people, one from international business and one from a small startup. Mr Mwangonda works with some of Tanzania's biggest companies, and he says the government must make sure it gets good terms for its borrowing. It's good when you borrow for development projects because that will in turn into a multiplier effect which will um, make people get more money and that's how the economy will be run. Though we need to be very cautious on what kind of loans we, we, we get. The interest rates uh, should not be higher. We should be very tough in negotiating these loans. Miss Kitamari knows a thing or two about tough business. Her company makes ice cream in Tanzania's hottest city. And she believes her country can become much richer through industrialising. It's very possible and from my point of view, I don't really see it as a poor country. And being industrial, it's good, really good. So many countries that are industrial are doing very well. So the industrial part will create many jobs. The 10 years cycle will function and it will be a very, very rich country. The government's plan is fraught with challenges. Corruption, bureaucracy and waste may all hamper its development goals. But they say that this budget invests in Tanzania's future. President Magathuli may be associated with austerity, but today was all about spending, an increase of more than 30%. The government acknowledges that the country does have huge debts, but it believes that by investing in development, it may secure industrialization. And that could be the answer to Tanzania's long-term economic prospects. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Tanzania. Well, let's pick up on that discussion uh, with my two guests. Of course, Fred Mondi, uh, a tax partner at Deloitte East Africa, uh, joins us. And Jane Nalungu, a policy analyst, joins us in Kampala. And Jane, I'd like to start with you. Spending on corruption seemed like uh, another priority area across board, uh, across all, all governments. Now, Museveni actually said he will not tolerate any weakness in corruption. What are your thoughts on this? Um, I, I think when you look at um, uh, the budget speech, um, what has been said, it's, um, uh, it's noble because we need to fight corruption. Corruption has gone up to very high levels. And they are very good proposals uh, to, to um, uh, strengthen the institutions which are going to deal with corruption. Um, for me, I think the biggest challenge is how this is going to be implemented. Uh, because uh, for a long time, uh, this is what the president has been talking about, zero tolerance on corruption. But we have seen corruption going on at all levels, at the highest level. So for me, I think we need to see and, uh, and cross our fingers and really see whether uh, 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 these things will be will be implemented, mm, but yeah. then also when we are talking about corruption, there is also other other areas of corruption because we have seen uh, tax dodging by big multinationals. For me, I think there is that other aspect of corruption which they haven't talked about. We have uh, seen the Panama leaks, how you know um, big corporations are dodging taxes. I think that aspect of um, of corruption should also be looked at so that we close all those leakages. Mm. Now
Fred, I'd like to talk to you about one thing, another major thing that featured uh, across all budgets, which was in spending on infrastructure, especially in areas such as road and rail. And yeah. another thing I noted was the fact that China seemed to be funding uh, a lot of these projects uh, across board, about $600 million here in Kenya. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, definitely, Uche. I think there's a major focus uh, on infrastructure. But uh, if you look at the details, I think uh, the pet project for the Jubilee government appears to be the SGR. So if you look at the allocation for SGR, it's quite substantial. Uh, over 100 billion, but what is interesting, uh, and you mentioned it, uh, about China's participation, China is actually going to be funding most of that uh, uh, construction. Mm. So the government is only contributing uh, maybe about 20% of that amount, mm. the rest being funded by China. So definitely SGR will be a key focus, and I think the government wants to finish this before the next election. If we look at other areas of infrastructure, uh, there are still a, a few questions that may be raised. Mm. For example, government allocated about uh, 10 billion to the Lapset project, yet this is a significant project whose budget was over uh, just over 300 billion shillings. Mm. So the allocation is, is, is a small uh, amount considering the scope of the project. And when you come to the roads, I think the focus was more on projects that are already ongoing. Uh, uh, and yes, the government has repeatedly mentioned plans around uh, using the annuity model to finance the road construction, but I think the modalities haven't quite worked out as expected. So, so other than the SGR, I think the others we are yet to see uh, mm. that greater focus that probably is needed. But mm. yes, infrastructure continues to be a main focus of the Jubilee That's government. Right. And, and we are going to see that, especially with the SGR. Okay, well, thank you so much, uh, Fred Omondi, for joining us and for those insights. And uh, Jane uh, in Kampala, we thank you so much uh, as well for joining us and for those insights.